Hello everyone, my name is C. Nanners, and actually no it isn't, I've done this intro before, and I hate myself for it. Basically I'm just going to be talking today about Modern Warfare 3, Halo 4, uh, maybe a little bit of Gears of War, Assassin's Creed, and of course Battlefield 3. Da da da! Best game ever. Ever. No, I'm kidding. Probably isn't the best game ever. No game will ever be the best game ever. You have to accept everything and just roll with it in my opinion. But uh, I love all games, no matter what they are. Fuck you, we I'm not talking about you. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe Twilight Princess. That kind of Getting off topic. Um <laughs> Basically we're gonna be talking first of all, I'm going to be talking. You're not gonna be talking, you're gonna be sitting here listening to this. Now shut up and sit down. I'm gonna be talking about uh, Halo four and the new Halo trilogy and CE first of all, because that's what I'm most excited about at this point. I'm looking forward to this stuff like really hardcore, and I'm not even gonna lie to you. Sound like Evan? Evan, if if, he's, if Evan's watching this, he'll know. He'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Halo Four is basically the first game in a new trilogy that is going to be released 2012. Well, that's when the first of the new trilogy is going to be released. Who knows when the other games are going to be released? Hopefully, hopefully, uh, 343 won't start like spamming the games out. Just being like, okay, here's a new game. Six months later, here's a new game. Here's a new game. Okay, we're done. Now let's go make some books about them so we can get better profits. I don't know. I don't think they do that. Microsoft would probably make them make another game instead of writing books. Point being, uh, Halo 4 looks very cool. We saw the uh, trailer, the Master Chief coming out of cryosleep. So it's definitely going to be involving the Master Chief, which makes me very, very happy. I've had enough games where Master Chief isn't the main... Uh, the main hero slash protagonist or whatever, however you pronounce that, and I I just really can't wait for uh, for Halo Four. We don't really have much information on it. We've only seen a trailer so far, which basically <laughs> he has a jetpack, which is pretty cool. I I like the jetpack. I I think that they're just kind of copying Reach, but you know, whatever. If they want to include stuff from previous Halo games, that's fine. I just hope that the multiplayer will be like Halo 3. I think that the multiplayer in Halo 3 and Halo 2 was probably the best out of any of the Halo games to date. And ODST was not a flunk. ODST was a good game. I liked it. So, so uh, ODST. And uh, the other big Halo game that we've also been confirmed about is the Halo CE Anniversary game, which is actually looking really, really good in my opinion. There is some stuff in the trailer that made me like wonder about it because it if you notice like the frame rates kind of lagged when it was showing gameplay which confuses and disturbs me but maybe it's just because it's like an early version or something and if it's in the final game I'm not buying that because I I'd just rather play the original CD even if it is remastered and has 10 times better graphics the weapons kind of look bad but you know I'm sure that they'll uh, maybe do something to make it look a little bit better as far as weapons I'm sure that the remake will totally do do it justice, um, but you know that's just my opinion. Some other people, fanboys, might think that uh, it's not really doing it much justice. But everything that I've seen, like the screenshots and everything from Waypoint and the two trailers, look really great. So you know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, I've taken up half this video talking basically about Halo 4 and the CE remake. So I'm going to talk about something Call of Duty related. Um, Modern Warfare 3. Resnavnias. Mlokraba Grenada Portkinevnia. I don't know what I'm saying. It was a bunch of Russian in the teaser trailers. Now we have two actual trailers that like of gameplay, like two two levels of gameplay, which is really great in my opinion. Basically we have the uh what do I keep saying basically? No, not basically. I'm gonna get in depth. In depth! Do it! Do it, Steven! Basically this is the uh in depth stuff that I know about. The stuff that I know about. We have a dual site, which is going to be awesome. We're going to be seeing the AKU in a Modern Warfare game, other than Modern Warfare 1. Modern Warfare 2 didn't have the AKU, which is kind of sad face because I like the AKU a lot of games. And that's about it. We're going to be seeing the return of the P90. I'm just basically talking about the perks. Uh, no stopping power, no one in our army, no, uh, there actually will be noob tubes. No nuke. Nothing like that. We're we're not going to be seeing any of that stuff. We can just push it to the side. As far as I've seen, it's basically like a Modern Warfare 2.5. That's that's my opinion of it. It doesn't look completely different 
like Modern Warfare did, uh, 2 did, to Modern Warfare 1. But it's still bringing a lot of new stuff to the table, like zombies and a lot of really fun stuff. And the return of Spec Ops, which I love. I love Spec Ops. Um, but really not too much new from that, like, the Call of Duty series. I'm kind of impressed with what they've done, but I really hope that they try and make it interesting and not as boring as the trailers kind of looked. Um, well, the actual gameplay, not the trailers. The trailers looked amazing, but uh, they didn't give me a boner like the Nanum Modern Warfare 2 trailer did. That's about all that I really have to say about Call of Duty. Um, in other battle-related news, Battlefield 3. That makes me very happy. I've seen so much about this game, and I never really was a huge Battlefield uh, fan. Like, I like Battlefield 2, and I like Bad Company 2, but I never really played any of the... Uh, I like the Bad Company 1 demo. <laughs> that counts for anything. But I never really uh, got into Battlefield series, and now I kind of want to because of Battlefield 3. Um, I've seen some really great stuff about it, and I've seen the graphics that look amazing, and that's all that I really need to see about this game. Uh, hopefully the storyline will deliver as well. It seems almost Modern Warfare 3-ish in storyline. I can't really compare the two. You can't compare any games to each other. It's just wrong. But uh, also, I'm just going to quickly skim over two other games that we love. Gears of War 3, which is coming out the end of this year, I think. I think, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think I might be. And also Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I have no idea when it's coming out. But I loved Brotherhood, and I loved the other two Assassin's Creed games. Like, they they just... I liked like Brotherhood more than Assassin's Creed uh, 1. And Assassin's Creed 2, of course, is an improvement. But anyway, I love you, and Ezio's older, and there's a trailer, and they're all in the description, so bye. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. This is a gameplay of me and, uh, of Uncut in Halo 3. Me talking over it about uh, Modern Warfare 3 and all those games before it even happened. They were confirmed. Um, this is a Dead Space video with me and Danny, the haunted washing machine. <laughs> Pretty epic episode, so you know if you want to go watch it, you can go watch it. This is your grandmother in high school. Uh, I just thought that you'd want to see what Betty Jacobson looked like. Anyway, see ya.